People often struggle to track projects, sub-projects and tasks within their task manager. Often people end up separating their project tracker and their task management tracker. Current task management applications can track but in a fairly simplistic way without the ability to customize the project or at the task level. For example, if you take the case of managing project dependencies or on hold tasks for information, then you just can't manage it. If you've managed projects in the past, you can relate to what I'm saying. To counter this problem, I designed in GTD version 2 layers to include projects, sub-projects and tasks all within the same system. So you could have multiple sub-projects rolling up to a project and you can view the multiple projects and sub-projects in one screen. Let's dig deeper into how this works. In the earlier video around getting started with GTD version 2, I dove deeper into how to collect and process information. I will now build on that. Let's take a personal example of mine where I am rebuilding my website from the grounds up. Let's define the project as rebuilding the website. Let's add a gear at the beginning so that I can identify that this one is a project. You will know how it comes in handy a little later. Since a project itself can't be executed and it has multiple tasks spanning across several days or months, you need to break this up. You will notice that the narration isn't any different than a task being captured at this point. Now let's try and break up the project into tasks. Let's add the steps. Purchase and register a domain name. Identify a web hosting space. Identify a website builder. Define your brand, the logo, the template which is the look and feel the font and the color scheme. Now that you have the shell within which things need to go, you can start to define the steps you need to take. Take inspiration from the websites you like and the competition. You need some kind of a website structure, so let's add user experience, which is nothing but the user flows and develop a wireframe. Now let's take some inputs from the team. Let's transfer the wireframe into the website builder. Develop content for the wireframe. Again, you take inputs from the team. Identify plugins required for a custom experience. Build a custom experience with plugins, CSS, Java, and HTML. Test and modify for a responsive design. Take inputs again from the team. Now you're ready to publish the website. Now that you have this button down into the capture area, let me quickly add in some finer details. So let's add an important information like the project charter, the name of the sponsor, etc. inside of the project page. Now let's capture the project start and end date. Let's put in some dates for all the tasks that have to be accomplished. And let's ensure that the band of time is within the project start and end date. For simplicity's sake, let's assume that each one of the tasks are non-recurring. So you may be having recurring meetings or tasks. I will show you guys how to set that up in a later video. Now let's define additional details like the status of the individual steps and some notes if required. Now let's add in the responsibility by individual for that specific task. If you want to break down any of the tasks further, you can just reword it in the description. Now let's convert the inbox to project and the project tasks respectively inside of the process. And add a sub-project name inside of organize. Now under organize, I can link the project and the project tasks together and add a project task serial number to define the sequence. Let's search the name of the project with the gear icon and you will notice it popping up. Now let's link each of the tasks to the project. You can link the first one manually 
and the rest of them are so easy, you can just copy very quickly. Now if you look at this, inside of review, you can see the project and the project tasks sequenced out. You can filter this for projects and a specific sub-project or just at the project level. If you tick any of the project tasks, the project progress will be shown up there automatically. If any of the project tasks are no longer required, you can just modify that and put them into the trash with the flag. While I simplified the example, you can add meetings, ideas, recurring tasks, tasks requiring you to make recurring payments to vendors. While I break up the possibilities in our next set of videos, I will clarify some of these examples as we go along. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, Consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.